you guys. Check this uh, old, uh, I believe this is a Scotsman, old Scotsman uh, multi evaporator. I think that's uh, six different evaps for it to make ice. This is a serious one. I gotta clean this one today. You can see really bad on the scaling and everything. So you just put it into its clean cycle. And uh, now I'm gonna uh, add my acid wash and uh, let it go through its cycle and then pull it all apart. All right, since I'm doing this with my phone, uh, I'll just uh, show you guys what I'm doing. I took the panels off here and here, the reservoir. I'm gonna pull the motor out pull this tubing out that goes up into the evaporator up there that's where it feeds the water over the evaporators this tube this tube right here I'm gonna pull all that out I'm gonna put all pull all those plastic parts out I'm gonna pull this panel this panel all the plastic the trays down here all that's got to come out and get uh, acid washed so I'll pull all that out and then uh, show you guys all right, so here we are. We got my my water feed supply lines all out. This is the evaporator, or the several evaporators, where we will make ice. I've got all my parts taken out. I'm going to clean all this. See all this stuff in here? See all that? That's all going to come out. It's all minerals from the water. All this got to come out, so, and I got my motor out, I'm going to lime out my motor and clean all this crap off, sit that right back down inside, I'm going to clean the reservoir, all that crap in there, that's all got to come out, yeah, this one's a, a tough one for uh, ice machines, this is a, a, a Scotsman CM3, I'm not sure what years these were produced, but I'm sure, uh, Dave with uh, NorCal Refrigeration will be able to tell me. Uh, I haven't got the serial numbers off this one yet, so let's uh, get all this cleaned up. Oh, there's the supply tube and all the other panels. When these when these machines when these these machines get old, the plastic on them gets very frail and breaks very easy. So be careful. Don't throw your parts around. Uh, you will break them. So let's get all that cleaned up with our acid wash and then uh, put this back together. And another thing you want to see uh, why I don't get ice at uh, certain places anymore. Look at, look at that nasty stuff inside. Ooh, yeah. Gross. All right, guys. So uh, pretty much all done with my acid washing. Um, started to put her back together you can see the supply tubes are all back on the evaporators all seated nicely nice and clean uh, my my uh, trays are all nice and clean I'm not gonna put them back in right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get my shop vac my little wet dry vac that I got and I'm gonna suck all the water out and I'm gonna suck all the minerals out of here and uh, put her back together and start her up and sanitize her a uh, customer doesn't care about the ice inside so I went ahead and I acid washed the inside of the bin for him and he is just going to uh, let the ice melt and go down the drain uh, so we will uh, go get a shop vac and clean this one up This way the wide angle and I'll just show you for the rest we just get your sponge oh there goes my light I 
and just sponge out the rest. Should be nice and clean and ready to go now. Uh, the scaling here on the side of the wall, a little more work with uh, my um, scotch bright pad and it'll take that right off. But uh, I'm not too worried about that. So, all right, let's get her back together. Hey, we got her all back together. Let me back out a little bit so we can get everything into view. All nice and clean. And my reservoir, all nice and clean. Uh, we're gonna hit freeze. going to look for water, realize there's no water, and then it's going to start to fill. And when it fills, it'll start doing its freeze cycle. And uh, that's when I will, when it starts to drop, that's when I'll uh, show you the video of it finishing up. Actually, we're going to add some sanitizer here. So let me start that over. All right, guys, so now we're all nice and clean. All my pots are clean. Everything's back in place. My reservoir, my reservoir is clean. I'm going to put it back into clean mode. sanitizer to it and let it uh, go through its cycle for I don't know 25 minutes 20 minutes it'll cycle and uh, sanitize the whole machine and then uh, we'll let it make a batch of ice and uh, then we'll be all done so uh, yeah I'll let it uh, make a batch of ice and then I will start the video again and I uh, see it's sanitizing and while she's sanitizing I'll Clean up all my crap. Pack it all back up the wheel and bring that back to the truck. Install the new air filter. Set it to ice mode and then we'll be out of here. You know, uh, you gotta hand it to this old Scotsman, man. It's still banging out. As soon as I put it into ice mode, the lines chilled right up. Still, uh, still banging away this old this old boy pretty good machine uh, there it is all cleaned and sanitized in the ice mode you can reach up and just feel the cube starting to form they ain't forming yet but i can uh, they're pretty damn cold so i'm gonna sit this out and wait for it to make a batch and then uh i'm all done uh they said i wasn't gonna be doing many ice ice machine videos uh, for HVAC videos but I've been uh, hit with a couple of these ones that I, I haven't done before like uh, the Marvell and the in this uh, Scotsman CM3 I might have cleaned one of these before but I don't think it had uh, six uh, coils on it like this model but uh, I think that's pretty much it for now and uh, I'll probably do a little bit of an end of a, you know, uh, outro video of the ice falling into the bin. So this has uh, been Max and me uh, with another HVAC video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you guys did like the video. Subscribe if you want more. I got a variety of things on my channel. As if anybody, if, if you know, uh, I do a number of different things on my channel. And I uh, just want to thank everybody for coming and uh, viewing my channel. Uh, peace out, YouTube. Have a great week.